Greetings friends of the Chooch, how you doing? We're at episode six now of RPM Cycles Chooch Rides here at RPM Cycle Honda Triumph Moto Guzzi Aprilia Modus. Why do I sound so excited? Oh my god, oh my god, I'm so excited. All right, I'm gonna try not to be biased, but look at this. You know I loved my 2016 Street Triple 675. This is the 2017 Street Triple 765 RS. Oh, I need to breathe, I'm so excited. Now, this is it's gonna be biased. I, I don't know how to not be biased. I love Triumph and I love the Street Triple. How do you not be biased a little bit? I mean, just look at this thing. I am so happy to finally be able to ride this machine. The, the fly screen with the intake styling cowl. The headlights look great. I know some people don't like the bug eyes, but I do. I think they're sexy. The Brembo brakes, twin piston, double disc. The exhaust has been changed. It's a little shorter, a little bit more subtle. I love it. The RS little uh, little accent there. The accents on the radiator. I mean, just, just look at this thing. The, the Owens oh, rear suspension is just so pretty. The Nissan single in the back. I, I don't... I don't know if there's anything about this bike that I don't like, except for maybe the seat. I'm not a huge fan of a sport bike seat. The seat that I had was more of a standard type seat. We're gonna find out what that's like, see how it feels. Just just the accents, the lines, the colors, and I'm not even a fan of a darker bike, but this is so pretty. Even the bar and mirrors, I am so excited to ride this. I mean, look, look at this TFT display. It is adjustable. Up and down, if you're a shorter rider, bring it down. If you're a taller rider, bring it up. You can do that. It's beautiful. The clutch is adjustable by this knob here. Such a light, good pull. And the brakes adjustable. I don't know what this thing does, and I know what that thing does, but I'm not going to play with this. I just, I got to get on and ride it. The, uh... Start stop button is all integrated one switch. You have a home button here. You have your standard turn signals Honestly, I gotta say it feels a little on the cheap side just a little bit All right, so maybe that's something that eh, okay horn flash to pass and uh, joystick. This is your joystick. You have a joystick and a mode button. We're going to get this thing started up. We're going to get an exhaust clip. We're going to get the ergonomics assessment. But just, just, well, I just want to do one more walk around because it is so pretty. Fully adjustable. Show a suspension up front. Upside down forks. I mean, what, what? if you're a fan of Triumph, you're a fan of the Street Triple Series, they really knocked it out of the park with the styling, the redesign, the uh, swing arms are different. It's just, it's a beautiful machine. I can't wait to get on this thing and go for a ride, but let's take a look at that screen first. So I'm gonna turn this on just to show you the display. There is so much to this display. How pretty is that? There's so many ways you can customize this service do right off the bat. I mean, you have your different styles of display. You can adjust how you want the screen to look to the information that you want to see. How awesome is that? Like, there's so much to this. I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let you go and do the research on your own to see how to work this, how to settle the rider modes, which is by the way, very easy. You just press the M button a bunch of times and you can select the rider mode that you want. So I'm going to leave it right where it is. Uh, we're going to use that, whatever that is. And what does home do? Home brings you different... Okay, main menu. Riding modes. Rider, rain, road, sport, track. So instead of do it, you can do it quickly on the bottom or you could use your joystick. So I don't know anything about this. And right off the bat, I could tell you this is so easy just, just to set up. I mean, so you got rider, rain, sport, and track in that order. So those icons, you'll know what they mean. And you could set each thing, the ABS, the map of the throttle, the traction control, you could set it. It's all customizable. They have done such an amazing job giving you everything you could possibly want on this machine. It's riding modes, bike setup, indicate. You could say your indicators, are they automatic? Are they manual? Your ABS, your traction control on anything, your trip setups, your displays, you got a lap timer. There's so much to this. Go watch a video that goes over all these things because if I tried to go through all these things, it would take way too long. So I'm not going to do that. We're going to go back home. I'm going to get this thing into uh, mode and we're going to go for a ride. But first, let me take a selfie. So I am so ready to mount this thing. I am so excited to be sitting on this again. Just, I, I, I do miss my street triple, my 2016. I do miss it. So let me, let me, oh, okay. So easy to get on. Uh, really easy to flat foot. The weight is, it feels substantial, but it feels like this thing will just toss all freaking day, all freaking night. The mirrors, uh, the bar ends on this thing are fantastic. I like these better than the ones that I had, the OEM Triumph accessory ones on the 2016. I like these bar ends a lot, actually. These, these, they're 
perfect. I, I don't see anything wrong with them at all. This is exactly what this bike needed. So let me give you an idea of the rider triangle. So it's a sporty rider triangle. Just so you're aware, your legs will be a decent angle. You will be tucked. My knee fits, and I'm six foot, 252 pounds with a 32 inch inseam. My knee just fits under the lip of the tank. It feels like it goes there perfectly. Uh, just like the 2016, this bike feels compact, nimble, like it feels like you can toss it easily. You're a little forward, but you're not super sport clip on forward. So this is, it is a decent rider triangle. This actually feels pretty good. This is making me miss mine, and I know as soon as I ride this, I'm gonna wish I kept it. Not that I don't love my Tiger, I do, and it was better for me, but something tells me I'm gonna want one of these, and that's gonna be sad. But we're gonna find out. Stay tuned. Uh, let's get a clip of the exhaust on this thing. Start it up, see that beautiful display come up, Triumph logo. Wait till it comes in, we're good, clutch. Okay, that blinked, that was interesting. First thing you notice, that Triumph wine, listen to that. You, that that's signature Triumph right there, let's see how this stock exhaust sounds. Holy <laughs> shit! That sounds incredible! Oh my god, I can't wait to ride this! Okay, okay, time to go! Alright, so we are lined up, we are ready to go. One thing I should mention about the RS, nice click into first. The thing I should mention about the RS, you have a uh, quick shifter standard. I added one to my 2016. They were they were so awesome. I love quick shifters. It wasn't that good at lower RPM. You kind of had to have the RPMs up for that quick shifter. But uh, so impression, first impression, it's tight, man. I'm so used to my Tiger now and more roomy bikes. This thing is tight, but it's supposed to be really easy throttle pull out. Oh my god! Oh my god, I missed my triple! And this isn't even my triple, this is the new triple. Oh, oh that felt good. This is so smooth, so refined right off the bat. She feels amazing. I can't wait to get her out away from this area. Really easy turn in. Engine braking is a little on the harder side than I'd say what we considered a normal deceleration. You feel her braking. Clutch engagement, right in the mid, or right in the mid range there. Not right away, but it, it grips, I'd say, a good third of the way out. Not so much half, like a third. The seat's actually surprisingly comfortable considering it looks very sporty, like more of a Daytona style seat. She wants to go, she wants to go. I don't know who I want to go to, but let's feel those tracks. Not bad, That it soaked up the tracks really well considering this is a more race-oriented suspension. Holy crap, she wants to pull. She really, really wants to pull. The shifter is butter smooth. You feel it, you hear it, it's perfect. My God, this new bike is so incredible! Really easy to downshift. Holy crap, the torque, butter smooth, linear, hard pull acceleration, the sound is incredible. Holy crap, no, no, no! Damn it, damn it, I want one, damn it! So easy, so smooth, so linear in that turn. It was made for the street. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, okay. Get oh, the brakes! I, I, I don't need to do that again. I just got nauseous with how good these brakes stopped. There's a little front end dive. I need to get a little more rear in there. I'm going to try that again. Holy sh Yes! 
Yes! Oh, Triumph, you do not disappoint. This new bike is incredible. Holy crap, slow it down. Let's get a little flick test. Yep, yep, exactly what I expected. This is flickable all day, smooth as hell. The transitions are incredibly seamless and just butter Triumph. Tri every Triumph I've written, I, I use somewhere, I use the word butter. And that's what these Triumphs are, butter smooth. Okay, the brakes, there is a little front end dive. You could probably dial that out. I just want to let you know right off the bat. Not that it's so much of a negative. I could probably get a little more rebrake to, to fluid that out. And you can, you can adjust it, but... Oh. Oh my God. Oh God, I want one. Oh my God. Okay, so a little wind feels good. There's a little bit of a wind noise in my helmet from the front. Not that I would change it, earplugs would solve that easily. The suspension is a little on the stiffer side, but still compliant at the same time. Like, you, you feel the imperfections in the road, but it's a smoother hit than something with, like, a pure race suspension that would just, like, really transmit it to you. The bike takes the brunt of it. So the tra traction control actually kicked in because this thing has so much power that even with a smoother roll on, it felt like it was slipping a little bit. Like, it wants to pull up the front. This thing just has so much torque. For a 765 triple, it is incredibly impressive. Clicking up into six at low RPM, it's smoother than the 2016 quick shifter was, that's for sure. They really dialed that in. Downshifting, very easy to get smooth. That throttle is just so responsive. Turning is incredibly easy and it just begs you to roll on through it. Doesn't matter where you are in the RPM, when you roll on, she pulls, holy sh**. Oh my God, there's just torque everywhere. There's torque all over the freaking place. Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. So I guess because I'm a heavier rider, I'm putting more weight on those front bars as I brake. I'm not able to just keep my way back. That's why I'm getting a little front end dive. So take that with a grain of salt. Oh my God. I like this more than the Aprilia. So much more than the Aprilia. This is oh, it's just perfect. Holy crap, this is perfect. See, the problem with a bike like this is the same problem I had with my 2016. I'm doing just, just casual riding and all I want to do is twist that throttle and go! And it just goes and pulls! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! God! Words! No words! No words! Oh my god, I want one! I want one so bad! I, I, I wish I could have two bikes! I wish I had the money for two bikes! Because while I'm loving riding this thing right now and going up north into the twistier area of Texas would be absolutely incredible. I, could, I don't think I could live with it on a daily basis for the same reason I couldn't live with my 2016. And that was because the ergonomics for a commute, like an hour commute or a four hour ride for somebody of my size just wouldn't be great. But oh my God, I just want to go. I need to get one of these on the track. I wish I could rent one. I totally want to rent one and get one on the track. Just, and I don't do track days. Track days is not my thing. It's not the way I ride, but this bike makes you want to ride like that. Oh my God, I just go. Oh, damn it, damn it. Let's parking lot this thing and, and see what the low, the low speed is. I don't want to low speed it. I don't want to parking lot it, but you, you kind of have to feel it. Very, 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 no rear brake right now, but I can. Just incredibly stable low speed. She's got excellent center gravity, excellent weight balance. Just a tad touch, just a touch of the rear brake, and you got incredible low speed stability. You can point this thing anywhere you want to put it. Some minor steering corrections, but not, not bad at all. Like I said, just a little rear brake, and you are incredibly stable low speed. There is nothing I don't like about this bike. Nothing. All right, let's let's get that broken pavement turn up here. See what that's about. Um, 
Uh, so this turn is notorious for the broken pavement. No problem, she eats it up. She's a little stiff, but she's stable, and she'll get you through that turn, no problem. I gotta make a phone call. The brakes are squeaky. Why are the brakes squeaky? Are they dirty? They shouldn't be dirty. From what I understand, this bike's been ridden. Karen. No. Can you hear me? I can kind of hear you. Where is my damn seal? Um, I don't know. Dude! What the hell? I'm sitting here on a 2017 Triumph Street Triple RS and I want to put a Motochute seal of approval on this thing? What the hell am I paying you for? Where the hell is my seal? Okay, you're not paying me. Son of a <laughs> bitch, I swear to God, don't make me come out there. I want my seal. Okay, well, I have a plane. You're breaking up. Okay, it's busy. Okay, fine. It's busy. There's plenty of people here. Bye. Okay, I love you. Okay, I love you. I fucking hate you, dude. What? But don't say that. <laughs> okay, love you too. Love okay. You too, babe. Thank Bye. you, sweetheart. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that, that was my buddy Karen. He's uh, he's on the design team doing the Motitude seal of approval. I had to pull over to call him because I have to say, there's not a lot of bikes that I have given the Motitude seal of approval to. But I will say this right now: there is nothing that I don't like about this machine. I would put this in my garage tomorrow if I had the freaking money. This thing is incredible. This has the Moto Chute seal of approval. The Street Triple RS is a home run for Triumph. They really knocked it out of the park. Please go to www.rpmcycletx.com. Check out the guys down at RPM Cycle in Dallas, Texas. They are phenomenal. Tell them you want to buy one of these because you should be buying one of these. Oh my God, I don't want to give this up. I don't want to go back, but I have to. I got so much stuff to do. It's not even funny, but I would stay on on this all day. I would take this up to the twisties just to feel it and take this on a turn and just have it be incredibly stable and loving all the way. Butter smooth, just incredible. I gotta go. Please check out www.rpmcycletx.com. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Take it easy.